There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and today's video is by a company called Cheetah Beauty Hair. This is one wig with two different styles, girl, okay? She's actually really pretty. Color is a P427. She is 24 inches, hunties, a 13 by 6, and 180% in density. So this is what she's looking like, girls, okay? Yes, definitely a cute wig, and it has a removable bang. So, girl, if you want two different styles with one wig, make sure that you check the links down below for Cheetah Hair Beauty. This is going to be super easy, as you guys can see with this bang right here. All you got to do is clip it on. So I'm going to show you guys how your wig comes while I cut this lace off. So today I'm going to do something different with both of my hairsprays. I'm going to be using one of my favorite hairsprays, which you guys already know is the Aussie Instant Freeze. And you can pick this up anywhere, like your local store. And I'm also going to be using the Got To Be Freeze Blast. Now, in my opinion, Aussie Instant Freeze does get a little bit more tackier than the Got To Be. For each layer that you spray on of hairspray, you will need to make sure that the first prior layer has become tacky. Tacky before spraying another layer. I will be spraying half of my face with, or half of my head with the Aussie Instant Freeze. And then the next half will be with the Got To Be Freeze Blast. Now, as I was noticing on the first layer of hairspray, the Aussie Instant Freeze did become a lot more tackier versus the actual Got To Be Freeze Blast. There is a huge price differential between the two. The Aussie is around $4 and you can get this basically at the same exact stores that you can get the Got To Be. Got To Be, I do believe is around $10. Now onto the second layer. As you guys seen, I was feeling for the tackiness prior to spraying. Normally I only need to spray two layers of the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. And this is the second layer of the Got To Be. Aussie Instant Freeze also comes in a pump spray bottle and not just an aerosol can. That is one benefit that Got To Be Freeze Blast doesn't have. So if you need to take it with you while traveling, you can definitely put it in small container bottles 
and take it on any type of aircraft with you. And that is the one thing that I do like about the Aussie. Now onto the third layer, as you guys see in my face, it wasn't really tacky on the got to be side. In my opinion, I really do prefer the uh, Aussie. Now you do wanna make sure that it is tacky prior to putting your unit application down. Sometimes you will need to use a blow dryer, but if you do let the product become tacky, you may not need to use a blow dryer. It really depends on the lace that you're using to install your unit. So if the lace is thicker, you'll definitely need a blow dryer, but you'll definitely wanna still make sure that it's tacky prior to applying the lace. As you guys see, I'm just taking my rat tail cone and pressing into the lace. You want to make sure that your unit is below your hairline. You do not want to put this directly on your hairline as it will rip out your hairs. And y'all already know I got a long head, girl. So I'm able to make me a new hairline. Now y'all know also that I definitely need sideburn hairs. So I'm going to go ahead and make some. I also prepared the unit to where I can put baby hairs in it. But I forgot to mention, I also did bleach the unit using 30 Developer. I left the bleach on for like about 25, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Living for weekends, wishing I could take a break from this world. did pretty good with these baby hairs you guys i was just trying something different with this unit you know what i mean it did bleach really easy when i lifted the knots if i forgot to say that but i do like the color a whole lot they did a really good job with the mixture the highlight of the wig and the volume density is actually really really nice so we just gonna put this melting head band elastic band on while I show you the styles. Now I did curl it off camera, as you guys can see, because I didn't want to take up too much of your time, but I did go ahead and change outfits because I'm going to show you what I paired this wig with at the end of the video. But look at the hair, like I I'm saying, this color is beautiful. I love when it's a great highlight, a mixture of blondes and browns. I love blonde hair, but I just don't like it, just solid blonde. I definitely need some type of highlights and browns in it, just some type of dimension. It was easy to curl. I just did like with my wand curls. And as you guys see right here, look, I use this Aussie for styling, for applying a wig, girl, look. This is one of the best hairsprays that I've used, and I've used it for many, many years. So cheetah hair, I think they did their thing, especially for the first go around that I felt with them. You know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna see how it looks with a clip on bang, you guys. Okay, how easy it is to put on a clip on bang if you definitely wanna change up your style real quick. You know, you wanna look different later on in the day, then let's try the clip on bang. So as you guys see, it did come straight and it has one clip in the actual bang part. Now I'm gonna have to reposition my hair for this particular style. I should have maybe did a middle part with it, but y'all know I don't really do the middle parts and I really wasn't thinking about it prior to, you know, styling the wig. So I just kind of like, you know, parted my hair and I did kind of situate the part over a little bit so that way it wasn't too much work. But I'm not really like a huge bang wearer because it gets super duper hot out here in Arizona. But I do like a nice swoop bang or to the side bang. So you don't necessarily have to put it in the middle. You can definitely wear it as a swoop bang. Girl, look, you could, you could probably attach it to your own hair and make yourself a ponytail with a bang. But either way, if you're trying to transform the wig, you don't have to actually cut the wig itself. 
you could just use the clip-on bang. And I might not have did the best uh, with the, the flat iron and curling it, because I'm not really great or that good with curling with a flat iron. I just think that the flat iron makes it a little bit more dented and difficult. But this will give you some type of idea of what you can do with a clip-on bang. So I was feeling that. I was definitely feeling the difference that it did. And it also gave the wig kind of like a layered look. So you can also use it if you want to have like more or less like a layered kind of look. But I would definitely say you want to style it a lot better. You know, try to use like a better curling wand. But see, it does look kind of cute in the middle too on me. But I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. It's easy to remove as well as easy to install. And I'm going to just put my hair back. But for my first experience with Cheetah Beauty Hair, I thought it was really neat. I really thought this was a great concept with the click on band. But girl, listen, I like the color of this unit a whole lot. Okay. Make sure you check the description box down below for all the details on Cheetah Beauty Hair. I did pair this hair with a dress from Shein. I'm not really like the hugest fan of the dress from Shein, but I just figured I'd show you guys anyway. It was on sale for $17. Really, really cute. But I don't think it's cute on me. I hope you guys stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.